gentlemen, welcome to Winmeta 2017, and we have an enhancement to the boundary patch command in the surface and tools in Inventor 2017. Now, if you've never used boundary patch before, it's quite a niche utility. A lot of people out there probably haven't used it, but anybody that has used it and needs to use it on a regular basis, this is going to be extremely useful. And it's another big well done to the Inventor team for putting something like this in. It's one of those just do it things. We need it, just do it. Can it be that hard to do? He says, <laughs> not being a programmer, but just kind of just do it. So the boundary patch command, the way it worked in the past is you would pick a closed loop edge like this and it will create a surface in between that closed loop. So it's going to fill your loop with a surface. You'd click, uh, you could click OK and you'll just get a flat surface or you could sort of weight it off with a tangent solution like that and then you're going to get a domed surface which you could then, if you want, thicken uh, by a set distance. This is a really small component so the tolerances that we're working with here are tiny. But there you go, you could thicken that off and there you've got a sort of... Uh, You've got a, an extra bit of solid created using that domed boundary patch surface. So that's how it worked. Let's get rid of it and I'll show you what we can do now. So in addition to that, you can now specify an additional point to use as a guide rail for the boundary patch. So for example, let's put a, a sketch in across this plane here. Let's F7 that off so we can see what we're doing. And we'll just put a random point somewhere up here. Now you can size that up. You can put dimensions on it to place it to to exactly where you want it to be. But in essence, now what we can do is we can do the same patch, but then you've got this ticky box here, what's well, not ticky box, this arrow box here where you can specify that point as a guide rail. And you can see instead of it just being a perfect tangent dome, it's now gonna loop and intersect the boundary patch through that point. And you can then change how it interacts with the point using the tangent condition and the weight, but you click okay, and you've now got a, a different solution for the boundary patch using that guide rail. Uh, and it's, yeah, there you go, you can then thicken it off, same again, 0 0.05, and then you've got a sort of a weird, so you can, you can get quite creative with that. You can create all kinds of weird and wonderful aesthetic surfaces and contours using that tool with boundary patch. And then once that's done, you can see, you're wondering why, why is it looking like that? Why is it like this? Because the boundary, you've got a surface on top of a solid, so you just turn that off, and there you go, and then you can sort of fill up that edge off if you think, you know, it still doesn't look right with well, you, you, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. It's stuff which has been needed in the product for a long time, and they're eventually getting around to doing it. So round of applause for Autodesk again. Well done, guys. This release is turning out to be a winner. A winner. Right, thanks very much. That's it for this one. If you liked it, like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.